Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I have another uh, repair tutorial for you guys to uh, check it out. If you are the homeowner and then uh, this is the rear patio door, if you have something similar to this, then push down to uh, lock into this uh, clip so your sliding door will not open. And then you push up open nicely so you got to be careful about this latch see like it's you're having so much uh, time and struggle to uh, press this down and if you press this down hard enough for a long time a period this will be this this uh, latch or handle is going to break off okay so what i do is uh, normally i push this clip in See, it's kind of squeaky. So I believe I need to open this up and then uh, replicate the mechanism uh, inside. So normally I did this and then push down so easily, okay? Or else it's gonna break this apart. So today, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, to remove those, uh, probably the two of these uh, Phillips screws. And I'm gonna put some of this uh, plumber's uh, faucet ball uh, grease. Since this is uh, on the back door, so you you know got the sun and sometimes you water to try to wash your uh, door clean with the hose. So they might have some kind of moisture inside or make it a little rusty. So that's why it's not working too well. So I'm gonna put this uh, to lubricate inside. So first of all, we're gonna open this with the uh, to remove those two Phillips uh, screws. So I got this uh, Phillip uh, screwdriver right here. So you wanna go ahead and uh, open your uh, door because uh, this side is gonna get loose. So you gotta be careful, don't let this uh, fall down. Got two at the bolt right here. Wow. You see that? It is bent. And this is what the other side look like. So when you turn this thing, it's gonna turn. So I'm not sure how they tie this thing. Hopefully I could put it back. And this one's been too. What? So this plate just come out. That's it. And this is uh, what's it look like on the inside? Okay. I'm gonna close the door before the bugs come in. So this is where you need to replicate, okay? And on this side as well. I try to use a Q-tip to put it in there. As you can see, there's some kind of grease I put in there. I mean, the grease that I found the plumber. So I'm gonna put it right here where the contact point's at. And 
I'm going to use a Q-tip to rub it. Ah, much easier. You see that? And you want to see where's the moving part at? You want to replicate? Put some of this on the rust area. So much easier. And those are the two screws uh, for the handle. One over here. One over there. All right, so let's go ahead and put it back. Wow, that is so much nicer and easier. Let's see if I miss anywhere. So I'm kind of a little bit concerned about the, the screw that got bent, so. I put the plate back on the other side first. Make sure you put it correctly. Make sure you don't strip it. You don't want to tie it right now because you may need some adjustment. I think I better change the screw before they break it out or something. Make sure you hold on the other side, it doesn't turn too much, and then tighten it up. Kind of bad design. Doesn't really lock into its place. So 
Si na ke la la ke nang la so easy. Gan lose out the top part and push it back. That should be good. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop in the comments on below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next uh, video. Bye, always. Peace.